I, like many of you, have had some extra time to go through some drawers and closets to clean things out, sort things, to find treasures you forgot were there. One of my most fun projects has been going through some pictures. I love pictures and I've always taken a lot of pictures. I remember I got my first camera when I was about eight years old, just in time for our summer vacation. It was a Kodak Instamatic camera that had a flash cube, four flashes, and then you just threw it out. Back in those days, you got film that was 12, 24, or 36 shots. And after you shot the roll of film, you took it to the store and you waited what seemed to be endless days before you got those precious pictures back, those precious memories. And when you got those pictures back, you realized that probably a third of them was out of focus or the lighting was bad. Another third you probably cut heads out or people out. And maybe, just maybe, if you were lucky, there'd be about a third that you could keep. They were the keepers, those treasured memories. One of my greatest finds in cleaning out one of our closets in our spare room was this old shoe box. This was from my parents' house, and it's a shoe box of old pictures. Many are black and white pictures, many taken well before I was born, of large family gatherings. Lots of people, lots of food, lots of wine. Of immigrant grandparents standing proudly in front of their new home or their new place of employment. Of my parents. And then there's some pictures I found in here now we're in color of childhood friends, of Memorial Day parades, of summer vacations, of picnics, all of these treasured memories. In my mind's eye, I close my eyes and I can hear the music in our backyard, the Italian music that filled our backyard as my dad sat in the evening reading the paper after a long day of work. I can look at my mom's beautiful, big smile and mischievous eyes. I look at childhood friends and I remember endless summer days. I can almost hear them outside yelling for me to come and play. The endless days of riding bikes in the summer and of kickball. The echo of one of the moms yelling, remember, come in when the streetlights come on. That was always our cue to come in the house when the streetlights came on, to wash up, get ready for bed, so that we could start the day over again. I've also come across so many pictures of Bob and I when we started our family and of our children, of Halloween and Christmases, of summer vacations, of school choir concerts and awards, of lots and lots of sporting events all of these treasured memories, all those things that I so value. It's gotten me thinking though about memories and what we leave behind. I've been thinking a lot about what are the memories and the legacy that I leave behind. I think it's worth thinking about. When people think of us, of me, of you, what will they remember? What are those things that we're doing today that leave good memories behind, that touch someone, that make a difference? What are the treasures that someone else is going to find and value and relive? In these days when we have a little bit more time, it's good to spend some time thinking about what are we leaving behind? What is our legacy? What is our memory? What will others think of us? Good things to think about. Until next time, God bless and happy memories.